Thursday's morning, everybody. Hope you all had a great end to uh, the NFL regular season. We'll have some exciting playoff stuff coming up uh, Saturday and Sunday, which would be really fun. So uh, looking forward to that. Not a great end to the season for me. Didn't quite get the mix of plays right. It's always a high variance day, the last week of the season. Um, so hopefully some of you guys did a little better than I did. Anyway, jumping on to basketball for today, um, I want to talk through game by game really quick. Uh, I tend to go a little bit faster without cheats here, but I also uh, will be live at 6 Eastern because it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of stuff to look out for. We'll get into it. So right now, you know, you're looking at it, the, the Saber Sims uh, projection on the Saber Sim, uh, Sim lineup builder. Uh, the guys for me that stand out the most here are Najee Marshall. I think, I think you're playing one of Marshall, Jones, and Murphy in a decent percent of your lineup. I think Marshall's the popular one, but I think Murphy actually has plenty of upside here. So I might consider doing that as a little bit of a pivot off of what might be some pretty heavy Marshall chalk, whereas I think Murphy's getting a little bit overlooked. Uh, Marshall's been better. He's been really active. But with Nance coming back, I just feel like I can try and fade that value. I also think Joe Val is in play, although the Nance being back is, is tricky. And I think McCollum is a really good play on his own. So actually quite a bit, a lot of business right, uh, right after the first game that I think is interesting. So my, my favorite plays in the game, probably McCollum and Murphy at this moment. Stay tuned. I uh, reserve my right to, to change my mind later. I uh, really like Gafford's price at 4,700 in this matchup. I think that playing Gafford uh, or Avdia or Hachimura, because they do sometimes go small and play Porzingis at the five and use, use those other guys. Throughout the last game, it was a 30-point game or it was a, you know, a big blowout. Actually, they've, they've been a part of a couple blowouts in a row. But uh, I think Gafford is my favorite play here. Uh, DeLon Wright's kind of mucking it up for, for the Avdia Hachimura play. So they're more large field plays right now for me than small field. But I do think that they both are in play at their prices, 42 and 4,700. I think Gafford is just a priority. As I say that, I'm probably going to click him as a, a early look priority play. Uh, all of these games have some interest for me, for the most part. Like, I think that, that you can make a really good argument. If you look at the Bulls, the Bulls have dominated the better teams in the East, 7-1 and one now, um, including 2-0 and oh against the Celtics. Very strange that they can't seem to beat the average teams, but they keep beating these guys. I, I do think Levine is the best of the three options, but I think it's close. And I think Vucevic Bus has had some decent games here uh, against Boston in the past. And I think you can make an argument for DeRozan in a tight game. We always like him in the high and tight games. And I mention all those guys because we have some value on the other side. With the point guard out, we've got Brogdon and Derek White are going to show up as really good plays. I prefer Brogdon, but Derek White is probably safer for the minutes. And then you get into both Williams. I prefer Robert, but I don't mind if you want to take a shot on Grant. And I think both Tatum and Brown are, are really solid plays here. I think we've seen we've seen the Bulls give up, just get, just get torched by the studs on other teams, even as they've beaten them. So I think both Tatum and Brown are very, very solid plays here. Uh, slight edge to Tatum for me. And I do think Brogdon is a priority at this moment. I think you could make it easily make that case for Derek White and possibly for Grant Williams as well. Just a lot of bodies with Williams, Horford, and Robert Williams, uh, both Williams and, and Horford. Um, I, I, by the way, I meant I like Robert Williams a little bit better, but I, I don't mind the idea if you want to play Grant Williams instead. We know Robert Williams has a wide range of outcomes. Uh, no one's going to play Giannis. Uh, we'll see if what value opens up. And it's Giannis, uh, New York. I think that there's some, some interest there. Um, I definitely think that Holiday, like, I know he only played 19 minutes in the first game back and then only 19 in the last game, but they lost by 30 in the last game. Is he If he starts to get his minutes back, and Saber Simmons got him projected for 29 minutes, those could easily become 34 or 35 like he usually gets. It's not that far, like, he, he was out that long. So I'm open to the idea of using a little bit of Holiday um, and a little bit of Giannis, both uh, giving the edge to Giannis personally. On the New York side of things, I think that, as always, I mention this every day, it's really hard not to want to play at least one of the backcourt guys and they're, because they're, they're just going to play, you know, a ridiculous amount of minutes. Their median minutes are so much higher. They're, you know, if things go right, minutes are in the 40s. I mean, look at these guys. You've got 37 from, from uh, quickly projected, 37 from Brunson, 36 from Grimes, 38 from Randall. Uh, for me, the priority – is probably quickly it feels bad because his usage goes down so much playing with Brunson and Brandle but I do think quickly at 6200 is is very reasonable but I actually could make just as good a case I think for, for Jalen Brunson I think 8100 still may be 900 too cheap and I think this is a team while they're good at the rim and that's unfortunately takes away some of what Brunson does he's just gonna have the ball in his hand so much so not quite priority level and I think that quickly is my favorite of the bunch but I think there's a lot of ways to go with this one, I guess, is sort of where I want to leave it, because I, I do think I might revisit some things here later. Um, I just really I, I, I can't say no to the minutes. So 
uh, I am going to probably be be overweight these Knicks uh, most nights. It's just it just for some reason on this slate, it's a little bit tricky because there's a lot of plays to like. San Antonio, I'm going to wait to see if if Podol and Kelvin Johnson play. That's that's really really big information with Vassell already out. Um, if those two are out, I think you're just loading up on the game, playing a lot of Trey Jones. Uh, I'm going to go back to Sohan again, uh, most likely. And I think, but it, but it's really hard to talk without knowing. I mean, Podol is probably going to play. He's probable. But if Kelvin Johnson's out, who really burned a lot of us on Friday, but he didn't really burn us. He just got hurt. Uh, if he's out, I definitely think I I might want to. Uh, I might, might have to focus on some San Antonio players. Otherwise, I always try to get underweight on these guys outside of Sohan. Um, it just it it just feels like there's such a wide range of outcomes and so many bodies. And I mean, we, everybody loves Richardson. You've got a two point projection between Richardson and Lankford. If it's really that small of a difference, give me Lankford just from from the ownership side of it. Um, but that's assuming that other people are out. So I'm really gonna have to revisit that one at six Eastern. Love uh, Desmond Bain here. Uh, you know, great matchup. Uh, even I, I think that even if they like blow him out, like I think they want Bain to get his 30 minutes, like to get his time back. So I do think that Bain is a really, really solid option, 6,600. And I think that Jaron Jackson Jr. is a great large field tournament play, uh, potentially even small field tournament play. But we do have the Q tags, so I'm gonna have to revisit this whole game. This game has the most Q tags, so we'll have to revisit that one later. Um, Lakers and Denver, I'm assuming that we're going to have LeBron and Westbrook available today westbrook has put up 50 back-to-back games they're winning the lakers are rolling man uh five in a row like, some good wins in there too going into denver is certainly going to be a tough one for him i am okay with taking the uh the shots on the westbrook but he's going to have some ownership today so it's not like we're getting him at three percent which we've gotten him at and while well, he puts up 50 every time out there um i i think that he's a really really solid play and I'm lower on LeBron. I'm probably a little bit lower on Schroeder, but I'm willing to reconsider it later on. And Thomas Bryant, just a tough matchup. So probably as of right now, unless Troy Brown's out, probably just going to be Westbrook for me um, as of right, as of this moment. Again, talk to you guys again at 6 Eastern. We'll see if I still feel that way. On the Denver side, I like Murray and Porter Jr. Uh, I think they're both at very reasonable prices. And I think you have to give everyone a bump up for the, how good the matchup is. Obviously, I'm not going to say there's anything wrong with playing Jokic here. It's a great matchup. Um, can you get to him? How does he rate in relation to Giannis? I think they're very close. So I might even be a little bit higher on Giannis. So it's, you know, with everybody available for Denver, you know, Milwaukee at least still missing Middleton and Holiday maybe on a minute's limit. We'll see what, you know, as we get more news throughout the day. But I think Murray, Murray and Porter would be my two favorite plays in this one. Um, other guys I like on this slate. Uh, this should be a fun one, though, Orlando-Sacramento. These two teams are teams we like to play guys against, and we like to try and play some of. So I think that you've got Carter and Anthony are standing out as the uh, point for dollar plays. I actually really like Wendell Carter tonight. I think he's a, he's a, he's a terrific play at 6,400. I think that he's going to be a very, you know, very popular in my lineup. So I'm going to make sure to be overweight Wendell Carter. Um, and I'm just looking projected at 31 minutes. I think there's even room on that a little bit. Cole Anthony is going to have some fluctuating minutes. Uh, I don't like it as a chalk play in general, but I'm always willing to take shots there. Maybe if uh, Cole Anthony is too popular, you can switch over to Mark- Markel Fultz. I don't mind that either, but Carter being my favorite play, but I also do like the guards. And I think getting to some Palo makes a lot of sense on this slate. That's the problem is that, you know, it's an interesting first look because there's just so much to, to, to like, even if there's not a lot to, to necessarily love. Um, on the Sacramento side, great matchup for them. Uh, I think Sabonis is extremely reasonable as being your spend up. I think that uh, Malik Monk is a great tournament play. I think De'Aaron Fox is a good tournament play. I think Harrison Barnes is your steady kind of hand guy. And I think Kevin Herters is a solid spot. So really all of these later, you know, this late game is, is interesting to me. My favorite pieces of the game being Sabonis, Monk, uh, Cole Anthony, and Carter. Um, excuse me, I just blocked out my thing. Oop. Um, but I think that it's a really good game to stack. So, I mean, look, there's a lot of guys to like, I'm going to go put my core on our, up on our site. I'll put my early builds up there. I didn't get to anything on FanDuel today because I didn't love the tournaments, but probably just worth taking a quick look and seeing what stands out as being different on FanDuel versus DraftKings. Um, pretty similar type of situation, just paying a little bit more for the same guys, uh, some forward eligibility that you don't have on DraftKings with Sabonis and things like that. Um, but it's, it's basically going to end up being a fairly similar build. I think on, on, 
I think Michael Porter Jr., because he is, you know, percentage wise, is, takes up even less over here at 5,500, makes a lot more sense. Um, Kyle Kuzma, certainly more reasonable at 7,500. So there's little, little changes, but mostly it's a fairly similar slate for me on both sites. I will have all my, my priorities uh, posted in a little bit. And good luck tonight, everybody. I hope that somebody can crush it. We can continue with the NF NBA season without having to stress so much NFL stuff, but it's going to be a fun, the fun stuff we do get to stress is the, the little two gamers and the four game weekend slates and all that stuff. Going to be fun to play the NFL uh, for you know, when, the, when the weekend comes around, but happy we have basketball back. And uh, good luck to everybody today. Hope uh, you guys make some money. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos and we will see you at 6 Eastern.